My name is Prajal Rawal and today we are going to look at this problem Prime Palindromes. This problem is rated as easy on Code Chef. So guys, if you haven't read the problem yet, go back and read it, try it out and then come back and watch the solution. With this, let's begin. In this problem, we are given an integer n. We want to find the smallest integer m greater than or equal to n such that m is prime and palindrome. So a number is prime if it is only divisible by 1 in itself. A number is palindrome if it reads same backward and forward. For example, 101. So if we read it by forward or backward, it reads the same. Another example can be this or any other example. For primes, we have some common examples like 2, 3, 5, 7 and so on. The constraints of the problem are, we are given n from 1 to 10 to the power 6. Moving on to the test case, in the first test case we are given n as 31. If we list out all the primes from 31 onwards, we will see that the first integer which is a prime as well as a palindrome is 101. Hence in the output we have 101. Moving on to the solution, the solution for this problem is pretty obvious. We will iterate from i is equal to n to infinity and if we find an i such that it is a prime as well as a palindrome, then we will print that way i else we will, and we will break out. Else we will just keep on repeating this. Now how to code the is prime function? To check whether a number is prime or not, we will iterate from 2 to square root of n and if any of the numbers from 2 to square root of n divides n, then we will return false, else we will return true. This is a pretty standard algorithm used to check prime numbers. The complexity of this function is square root of n, where n is given in the function. How to check a number is palindrome or not? For this, we will convert n into a string and then we will find the reverse of this n into rn. And finally, we will return whether the current string is equal to its reverse or not. The complexity of this is actually log of n. Why? Because we are given a bound on n that n is less than or equal to 10 to the power 6. So the length of n can be at most 7 which is proportional to log of n. Moving on to the time complexity. Now it might look that you might turn into infinity but this is not the case because for 10 to the power 6 the answer is actually 1003001. To find this you can actually try a brute force solution and actually run for 10 to the power 6. So the highest integer that you will ever check is 1003001 which is proportional to 10 to the power 6 proportional to n. Hence our time complexity is order of n root of n plus n log of n. This can actually be written as order of n root n. This is however a loose time complexity, a loose bound. The actual program will actually run very faster than this. The space complexity is order of 1. Because we are only storing an integer n into an int variable, and we do not store any other memory. So the space complexity is order of one. Moving on to the code, I have already taken the input into this variable n. Now I use this function is prime palindrome to check whether the number is palindrome and prime or not. I use this inside of infinite while loop and I increment n accordingly if the answer is no. Is prime palindrome will check whether the number is palindrome and it is prime or not. It will return true only if both of the conditions are true. We will check palindrome using the technique discussed previously. We convert n into a string s and then we store the reverse of s into rs and finally return whether s is equal to rs or not, whether the string is equal to its reverse or not. To check a prime number, we will first check whether the number is even or not. If the number is even, then we just return 0. Now we will iterate from 3 to root of n 
and check whether the number is divisible by, by any of the i or not. If it is, then we will return 0, which means that we will return false. If it is not, then we just return true. We know that it will be a prime number. So guys, this is pretty much the whole code. Try to code it yourself and if you face any issue, then come back and see it again. So guys, I hope you understood the problem clearly. If you have any questions, drop a comment in the comment section, like the video and don't forget to subscribe to get our latest updates from CodeChef. Thank you and goodbye.